You better be careful when you look into the abyss because I might look back at you. And if I look back at you, well, then I'm going to want to play a video game and or maybe we could play a card game. We could also go to a bodega and get a nice sandwich. I like sandwiches a lot, but I also like chicken tenders and I have chicken tenders right here. I'm dipping them in ranch. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Okay. What do you like to dip chicken tenders in? Or what do you like to dip? Do you like to dip things? I like to dip things. I like to dip things a lot. Sometimes I get popcorn and I dip it in butter. Well, not really. I mean, it's like you put butter on top of the popcorn first. Usually you don't like have like a big bucket of butter with you. And then you go, ah, oh, yes. Uh, here's my handful of popcorn. You don't usually just submerge your hand in the popcorn too. I mean, you could. But that sounds like way too much butter. Which is a thing, I found out. I also made this really tasty um, stuff to put on top of my sandwich earlier, and but it had um, pickle, and it had onion, and it had uh, celery, and it had um, some chopped up spicy peppers, and it also had um, uh, mustard, some very nice mustard, and a mayo, and I mixed it all together, and I put in just a little bit of Italian dressing, and ooh, it was really good. Hello, I'm here to eat you guys and or Italian dressing. Whichever comes first. I'm, I'm thinking the Italian dressing is going to come first, honestly, because I, I, I don't know. These guys don't even look tasty. This guy looks like he puts a lot of stuff products in his hair, and I'm not really feeling down on chewing on that. Although I do like that lady's heart glasses. Those are fun. Do you ever just, like, um, wake up and think, wow, I need to do something today? You don't know what exactly? I do that sometimes, so I make little lists of things I could do. And today I made a list that included uh, sandwiches. And I thought that made it a good list. Um, but, you know, it also depends. Sometimes violent revolution is what you should do today. But other days, you just you just don't want to do the violent revolution, you know? You're just like, oh man, government, stop being bad. Uh, uh. And they're like, I don't want to. So then you say, I know, I'm going to make some chicken tenders to drown out my woes in chicken and ranch. But I don't have any woes, so it's mostly just, you know, chicken tenders and ranch for the pleasure of it. I did offer all the food I'm eating right now to Mahakali before I um, sat down and started eating it. I kind of do that with everything I eat. I just kind of sit down and I just go, hey, why don't you eat with me? And I offer it to the goddess within myself and we enjoy it together. And it's very nice. I have had lots of meals where we do that sort of thing. Oh, okay, I was about to say, are we gonna get the, the, the ding-a-ling-a-ding? Boop, boop, ba doo ba doo Boop, boop. Do you guys remember banana phone? I remember banana phone. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Boop, 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 boop. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping. Banana phone. You know, I was thinking about like the meaning of actions earlier, and I was talking to someone I know who is an anthropologist, and that was pretty cool. But there was, for some reason, a question came up, and it was like, um. If you had family members die in a mudslide, would you go dig them up? And, you know, it turned to, there's this part of this conversation where, that, where this person said, well, no, they wouldn't dig them up. Or, like, they made a joke about yes, but also no, because they wouldn't want to disturb the archaeological evidence. But then I was thinking, like, um, if you had um, archaeological evidence, y y you know, because we start talking, or, like, what? no, wait, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. What they said was so that people could, because like, like how people are buried tells you a lot about like how people viewed them and things like that. And I'm not necessarily 100% agreeing with that. I think that a lot of the way we bury people and stuff doesn't actually say anywhere near as much as we think it does. I mean, because could, you could say, for instance, if you bury someone in like a really fancy way, maybe you'll love them. But you could also just say that maybe that's the way they requested to be buried and you're just honoring it to, like, honor it, you know? Like, some people just, like, do that sort of thing. You could also say that maybe, um... Oh, excuse me. 
Jesus power go. Um, but you could also say something like, um, maybe something happened and we just like read too much into it. I mean, I, I think that is often the case with like things like anthropology, where I think anthropology is cool, and I think it is interesting to try and see like maybe like what what does uh, this cultural signifier really mean? How is it interpreted? What do people think it means? Hey, excuse me. Kind of too far away for that to be effective, sweetie. I'm just gonna do this. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I, I think this lady's new. Understandable, but um, you know, like maybe sometimes we put too much um emphasis onto these kind of activities, and we kind of like think we know more about them than we do. I'm always reminded of I can't rem actually I saw this book on bad archaeology, but I'd seen this book previously where it was like. They had like a motel that was like perfectly preserved, and they found like um, uh, what you call it, like a toilet seat, and they decided that it must be for like ceremonial purposes. I think humans have a really hard time accepting like not knowing things, so a lot of times we just sort of um, attach meaning and um, purpose to items, even if we or, or actions, even when we don't know what they are. And you know, this is kind of interesting too, because like people do this all the time with like not just um, these very uh, ow, but not just these like very um, oh, there's more than one person who has that, but not just these very um random actions like of, of the past but we also do it like you know modern people like we attach all kind of meaning and significance to like the way people behave and like the way um they like like we, we put meaning into every action right like we decide that every action has some sort of meaning to it and i i think you do this a lot like like if you're upset at somebody it's not just that they're you know you know, they're not, not just that they're doing something that you don't care for, but it also turns into one of those things where obviously they're also doing something, like, intentionally to bother you. Like, if, you, if, if something they're doing bothers you, they're doing it intentionally. And you can see this a lot, like, with the way that, like, people get upset at stuff like that. Like, they, they tend to um, add meaning to these sorts of things, right? And I think that's that's very interesting. Because, I mean, humans as entities tend to do this stuff a lot where they just sort of like, they just make assumptions about like what other people are thinking. And often like, uh, there's like a, this distinct lack of empathy when it comes to like, uh, I was kind of hoping there was going to be someone like right in there, that would be fun. It's like this distinct... Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go in here then. There's like this distinct lack of empathy towards other people and we decide that their actions must mean XYZ. Like, we have a hard time getting outside of our own heads. I mean, I don't really because I have many heads, so it's kind of hard to actually stick into one head, you know? Like, too many heads, really. But, um, yeah, like, we, we decide that these actions mean these different things. And it was interesting to think about this in the case of anthropology, because I, I do wonder, especially with ancient civilizations, if you're not, like, an ancient cat like me who can travel through time and stuff like that and go to different places, like, a lot, a lot of it is just, like, sort of these assumptions, you know? Like, we have assumptions about, like, what things mean and, th and stuff like that. But I also think we had this tendency to interpret things through a lens that is fairly narrow and tends to, um, it, like, we place our own understanding on top of events. Like, part of the thing that makes uh, dealing with ancient societies difficult is because we, we, we think like the way we think, right? We think about the way we are as peoples. I'm gonna get fired, aren't I? That'll be funny. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Probably should have just, uh, shielded. But, uh, you know, like, we, we, we think about things in, in, in particular ways and with particular, um, 
meanings, and then we decide that, uh, well, either A, cultures of a different time have to have, you know, completely alien understandings of these things, or sometimes we apply our own understanding, like, like you know, like we, we look at an item, and if we don't immediately understand what it means, oh, it must be ceremonial, or oh, their culture is just so foreign and different, like, oh, they had this different meaning attached to this stuff. And it's kind of like, you know, something that's interesting to, like, look at with a lot of cultures is, um, the idea that everything has to hold some sort of, like, level of significance, you know? Which, I, I think we do that maybe a little too often. We assign significance to activities and to, like, people and to events that maybe just wasn't there. Like, did you, do you find it difficult to believe that there wasn't somebody who just, like, went through the motions like, yeah, 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 pray to these ancient gods, whatever, blah, blah. Alright. You think about it, right? And this is maybe a weird way to, to think about it, but you could even do this with, like, um... Like, YouTube videos. Well, like, where, for instance... If you were to think about, like, comments, are, are, are this, like, kind of fairly common thing that you can see, but, like, do comments really represent the way, like, most people approach, like, a particular video or things like that? You, you, you can think about it in a variety of ways, I think. But, like, uh, comments tend to be the minority of things, right? Like, they tend to be, like... Like, not, not very many people tend to actually leave comments on videos. Even, like, videos with, like, millions and millions of views often don't very don't get very many, um, comments. And, you know, that's something I think is kind of interesting. Because, uh, if we think about, like, ancient societies and stuff like that, we might make this assumption that, oh, because this was written down, this means this, this, and this, and this means that, like, this particular thing was significant to these people, but in a lot of cases, we could just be assigning meaning, like, like, like a common assumption was that, uh, for, at least for some people, was that, uh, the medieval diet was absolutely full of, like, meat, because all the recipes we would find in, like, recipe books and stuff like that were very, uh, meat-heavy, you know? And that's an interesting thing to think about. But then you you think about right right stuff like um, okay I I think this lady might be able to kill me before I actually yeah I'm not gonna go out there anymore. I'm gonna go out to the other person but um like but yeah like for for instance like the the assumption was generally that oh yeah well they didn't eat very much meat because we don't have very many recipes for meat. And things like that, but it, that's kind of one of those um, assumptions that doesn't actually work out because you actually don't need recipes for stuff you cook every day. So, or no, like reverse that. The assumption was that they ate a lot of meat, and then like you reverse it, it was like, oh, actually they ate like an absolute shit ton of vegetables. But like you don't need a recipe book for stuff you cook every day. You know, like if I was gonna go make my favorite sandwich spreads, because I love sandwiches and spreads. Like, I, I wouldn't need a recipe book for it because, like, I make it all the time type deal. And, like, you know, one of those type thingies. Although, I, I do think that stuff is, is uh, fairly interesting. Yeah, they're both over there by each other. I stop it. Let's see. Oh, hey. Was that... That was that other guy. Where'd he go? Oh, well. But, you know, I, I don't know. It's just stuff that's interesting like that. Like, And, of course, you have to make a certain amount of assumptions no matter what. You have to try and, like, suss stuff out because you get this, uh... You get a certain amount of evidence, right? And, yeah, this could mean this, 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 this. It could mean a variety of things... But you can only, um, you can only go so far with a lot of that stuff. Yeah, there's that lady with the fucking sword again. I'm gonna try and smack her. 
Well, maybe. I don't know where the heck she went now. Interesting. I'm probably just gonna end up losing this one. But that's fine. I'm having an interesting conversation. I wonder where she is. But, um... And, you know, you can think about this kind of stuff. And there, there's a lot of, I think, interesting things going on there. Like, I think we often make assumptions. Oh. I'm paying attention. Eating my chicken. Um. It's weird to me that it's almost always, like, one person does, like, all the stigmas. Unless it's, like, a weirdly bad team, then, then it gets way, way more split up if they get the stigmas. Well, not bad. That's not the right word. But, like, and not as skilled. Usually, but what I feel like is I keep getting a lot of these teams where, like, one person has a lot more skill or just generally does way better than the other people. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting, too, because, you know, thinking about it, like, from a video game kind of perspective, or, like, a Steam and Discord perspective, there's actually a decent amount of people I know who, like, use anime avatars but are not, like, anime cutie pooties, obviously. They're, like, a big burly man. Big burly man who like uh, anime. And you get this, this kind of, like, weird dissonance where it's like, what does that say <coughs> about you? Does it say anything about you? Are we making assumptions here? And I mean, yeah, assumptions, I think, are, like, a part of everyday life, and you can't completely escape them, but it is interesting to see how, like, far people take them. Hello, I'm here to eat you guys. I'm just gonna say that out there. Um, but yeah, it is interesting to see how far people will take assumptions. Will I be tasty? That's the question. I don't know, teens I taste mean, over, right? You gotta put, like, I mean, uh, Italian dressing and stuff on them, though. Maybe I'll taste like a burrito. What if you taste like a taco? Would you have to change your name? Would this be illegal? Um, I mean, it's kind of in the same family. It's still tortillas. And meat. I mean, that's true. Just roll oh. it up and call me a burrito. I just like squeeze it down like real hard and I'm like, see, it's a burrito. You can't tell me otherwise. Exactly, you need that type of attitude for it. Talk to burrito in an instant. See, that's smart. Although you gotta, you gotta wonder. There has to be. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure there is a story. At least with the high school, it's just like, oh yeah, we were all hanging out at night, and then like one of us turned to a werewolf. That was weird. Oh, she makes a different noise when she goes down. I just didn't notice that. Maybe they're all just making assumptions about me because I'm big and scary looking, maybe? They're like, oh, gonna eat me. I'm like, I'm not gonna eat you. Just because I said I was gonna eat you. It was a joke. You decided that I was gonna eat you. You looked at me, you said, I but he must be biting a bird by foot in his face. And I'm like, I would be. You know what I mean? What if that's just what's going on here? And everyone is just treating me poorly for no reason. Oh wow, they're all at a station already. I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> I'm in danger. Well, yeah, yeah, danger. Boop 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 ba doop boop ba doop ba doop ba doop boop. Ah yes. The burrito is the first person to get hit. That means I will eat them first, maybe? Or a screech? A nib? I mean... You know, that is kind of one of those things. Do you ever just, like, get food somewhere and then you just nibble on it you don't really finish it? I mean... Don't get me wrong. I think... A lot of that just kind of depends on, like, how hungry you are at the time. See, I have this tendency to go places and order too much food because I'm a very hungry cat. And then I'm like, oh man, I just want to eat a large amount of things. Maybe too many things. Maybe three many things. I mean, I don't know. 
I do sometimes wonder like what assumptions people make when I pull up to the window and they roll down and they, they see that it's a kitty. Do they make assumptions? Oh, excuse me. Do they make assumptions? Do they say, oh, wow, you're very cute, and that means that you're probably safe, and I'm like, I am not safe. I have big tentacles. What if they were to touch you? And then you'd be like, oh, no, tentacle. And I would be like, oh, boy, three tentacle. Are there, health there has to be health stations on the map. Oh, no, yeah, there's definitely one in the basement. Oh, look at them all. They're all down there. Maybe they already have their stuff. <laughs> probably do. I'm wandering around an awful lot. But, you know, like, I... It's like I might make an assumption, like, looking at this little statue here, that maybe this man likes bears. But I could also make the assumption that he likes to hunt bears. And bears don't like being hunted. Well, except for this one bear I knew. He he, he had a kink for being followed around. But we, we don't... I mean... I don't judge you for having that kink. But I just think it is a little weird. Kind of like people who are into war. I mean, like, look, if you're into war, that's fine, I guess. It's just... I just... But I just... Kinda can't help but think it's a little odd is all. You know? Oh boy. Ooh, that person has a holy staff. I gotta be careful. They're using the power of G Jesus. I really wanna know Jesus. I really like I really like um, Jesus Christ Superstar. It's very good. Oh God, are you going to die? And did you fall for the trap? Oh, you totally did. That's interesting. Well, I mean, not like dad interesting. I think a lot of people get a little overconfident, or they think that you're well. I mean, to be fair, like, if I had worn that out, like, a second sooner, she probably could have smickety-smacked me pretty. Let's see. I think that helicopter person was somewhat close by. Maybe not. Oh, maybe they were doing it from up there. Oh, is that her up there? No, I think that's actually on the... Yep, that's on the next one. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting, too, because I was thinking about this in context of, like, um, re religion, for instance, you know? Like, I mean, I uh, worship Mahakali. You know, I don't think that's too crazy. However, if you made certain assumptions about me, like, because of that, I mean, some of them would make sense. Like, for instance, if we start talking about, like, uh, like uh, a lot of people who don't know very much about, like, Hinduism... They think about, like, the uh, beefy thing, right? They think about, like, oh, yeah, like, you don't eat beef, right? And then, well, I eat beef. But that's also because I think that, like, um... I think that, uh, pretty much any anything you eat, as long as you're not, like, causing the harm to the animal. Like, it, it, this gets kind of weird, I think, in a modern society, because in modern society... Um, well, oh, here's my thought on it, and obviously you don't have to agree, but, like, my thought on it is basically... Oh, wow, I did not even know I could do that. That was interesting. I, like, jumped up the whole staircase. That's cool. But, like, my thought on it is basically, we live in a modern society, and I kind of go by, like, the Buddha's logic. And the Buddha's logic was that, you know, like, for instance, if when back when monks would go out and they would, you know, beg for their food, right? Or they'd have to, um, like, get it donated to them. Uh, like, in early Buddhism. Uh, the idea was, it was okay to eat meat as long as the meat was not killed for you, specifically. Um... Yep, I'm sorry, I'm faster than you. Although that would have been pretty good. That was could have been a pretty good trap, you know. Ooh, 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 got me. This could restore a little bit faster. I want a smack, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna have time. Yep, they're probably running out there though. 
Well, maybe? Nope. Interesting. Could also be healing each other. Yep, they're healing each other. Let's see if we can put an end to that. But yeah, like, my whole my whole idea is that it... Uh, I think it's fine to eat meat as long as it's not, like... You weren't directly responsible for its kill. And this is... I know some people would probably disagree with this, but part of my logic behind this, too, is just that... Um, if you get right down to it... Like, the, the meat in our modern markets, right? Or it, it's going to be there... Like, pretty much regardless, due to, due to the way our markets are structured, like, you don't have to want or to request meat for the meat to be there, right? So the meat's going to be there regardless. Now, if you, say, went up to a cow in a field and killed it and then ate it, I think that wouldn't be okay. <coughs> oh, boy. oh, my goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> Or at least I wouldn't be as okay with it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. That's something I would not feel comfortable with. But, like, this is all kind of stuff where, um... Yeah, it just kind of depends on... How you... Feel about a lot of these different actions. And, and if you think... What you think the consequences are. And if you think that they're wrong. Or if you think it's fine. If you think blah blah. You know, like, it, it, people have different approaches to this sort of thing. Oh. I'm gonna wait just a second and then I... But I mean and I've also talked to some people and like I don't accept that logic and I'm like I understand that. I, I'm just saying that's the way I feel about it. And too far away. Dang it. Oh, well, why didn't I just shield? See, this is like the thing. Half the time I get hit, it's just because I forgot to shield. Or I should have shielded and I just didn't. Yeah, I kind of figured for some reason that they, at least one of them would be here. Is that someone... Oh, I think it was. Dang it. Did it shield it again? But yeah. I don't know. I, I think about stuff like this, and, and I do kind of wonder, like... Um... For instance, like, what, what I would also be willing to, like, do. But yeah, like, the, so, like, the Hindu thing, like, the assumption there, but that's, like, not necessarily an assumption that I would say doesn't make sense. If you were, like, I, I, you know, like, there, there is a decent amount of Hindus who are completely and totally vegetarian. Is someone throwing a fireball at me? Well, they were. So, like, that, that being an assumption you have about, like, that makes sense to me. But like, the, the, that also begs the question, like some Hindus would probably say that, in that case, I am not a, um, a Hindu, right? And that makes sense. What? What the fuck happened there? What the heck was that? She should have been stunned and hit. Hmm. Anger. No, I'm not installing the game. Actually, no, that's fine. Although, I do think she probably should have been hit there. I got the little red highlight. I guess they don't just don't get stunned if they've already started their attack. But, no, that's fine. But, yeah, no, I don't know. I was just thinking about this kind of stuff, and it's kind of it's kind of interesting too, because like also like for instance, if we say Christian, it's this sort of the same thing, right? Like, what does that actually entail in terms of belief and meaning and things like that? Because like you know like uh, 
a Protestant and a Catholic, they have their differences, but then it's like also like if you include a Mormon in there, and then if you include like a Jehovah's Witness, like there's there's a variety of beliefs there that mean different things. Like you could give a Mormon, a Catholic, and a Protestant in a blood transfusion, but you're not supposed to give a Jehovah's Witness a blood transfusion. I don't know. It was just stuff I was thinking about, and like on some level, I just don't really want to be labeled at all because I feel like all labels are in some sense misleading. Like, and not necessarily intentionally, but it goes back, I believe it was Nietzsche who said that, like, and I'm going to paraphrase the living shit out of this here, but, like, basically all speech is a lie because it's all, like, you're never going to get the true essence of what you're saying. You're just going to get, you're just throwing these ideas out there and then other people have to interpret them. And I think it's similar to that. But, like, for instance, I part of the reason I would be reluctant to call myself a Hindu despite, like, performing puja... And, well, and on top of that, like, Hindu isn't even the proper name, you know. A follower of Sanatha Dharma. You know, whatever. Whatever we want to call it. Part of the reason I would be reluctant, I think, to really embrace that is because that embraces so many different ideas. Hinduism especially embraces so many different ideas because it, I might even go so far as to argue it's not really one religion. It's kind of like an umbrella term for a wide variety of religions. But honestly, I would probably say the same thing about Christianity. Even Islam, to a certain extent. Islam, they're a little bit more closer together, I think. I mean, um... The Mahdi's are kind of a little bit out there. Not like I would say they're wrong, I just think they're kind of a little bit more different than the other groups. But yeah, it, it's interesting to think about. And all these things, and like, what do these assumptions and what do these titles mean? I mean, and a lot of it, I think I would just go so far as to say, it's just shorthand, right? It's not... It's meant to be shorthand to try and communicate ideas across. Language will never be perfect, and you're always just going to have to make certain assumptions based on what... Hey, you. I gave somebody a mimonym. But, you know, it's based on, like, certain assumptions of what these things mean. Because that's another thing, like, it, for instance, if you ask me about reincarnation, I would say I don't really know. I think it's a possibility... I've seen some stuff that would lead me to think that it's at least possible, but I don't know. It feels like we make like I. I also think like the like the idea of like just if you reincarnate by yourself or like just just that idea of reincarnation by itself can have a lot of implications. But I think the problem I tend to draw much more is like when you read like all these different people who are saying like oh and i remember my past lives and i remember this and i remember this and i remember this and it's like it's like usually like supposedly enlightened beings have all these different like recollections and they can go back generations and generations like look at all the things i have in my brain you know stuff like that is like a little bit more suspicious to me but i don't know i think every person defines their own beliefs but and if you're like me and not particularly concerned with being in a particular group, it almost feels like even giving yourself um, titles and attachments is just, like, more confusing than anything. Now, if someone, like, really wanted me to break it down, I might just say, like, I practice dharmic religious traditions mixed with, like, certain elements of Taoism. But, like, that's... Like, if someone just asks me, what's your religion? That That's not really... It's not, that's an answer that I think would confuse people more than it would help them. So in some cases, it might be easier to just say, like, oh, well, you know, like a Buddhist or a Hindu. I mean, Hindu would probably be even closer these days with all the worship of Kali and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know. These are just some things that were on my mind, and I felt like sharing them while playing some VHS. And now I'm probably going to make another video, but it'll be slightly different. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope that you jump up and down with joy. And or get some M&M's. And if you don't like M&M's, I hope you get something you do like. Bye-bye.